Virgo, welcome to your May general forecast. Let's take a look what's going to be coming your way. You know, there are a lot of people who's actually going through a lot of transitional phases, difficult stages, you know, and separation, divorces, breakups, you know. Some people from the past that just reemerge out of nowhere or out of the blue. And, you know, some people are actually dealing with some dark jealousy, you know. But whatever happens, you know, you just need to keep on holding on to your faith and this too shall pass. Mm hmm Virgo. Looks like there is an air sign from the past that is coming back into your life. But let's take a look further. Because, you know, even in your general cards or general spread, it's uh, the air sign appeared again. And here as well. Oh, this, this person is really coming back into your life swiftly. Now... Looks like, Virgo, you need a bit of an adventure. You will also be a little bit uh, sadistic to your partner during this month. And you'll be a little bit conscious and careful not to, you know, like, uh, not to impregnate someone or not to get pregnant. Okay. Now, please take note that this is only a general reading. Whether it's reversed or not, it's up to you how to, you know, how you'll place yourself, whether it's the other way around or not. Since, it, you know, as I've said, that this is only a general reading. Okay. Now, for those who's actually going through some depressions, you know, it's okay for you to sulk for a little while, but don't let it eat, it, eat you up. There are a lot more reasons, things, and, you know, a lot more people who love you more. And don't dwell too much on the uh, those people who's been hurting you and affecting you in some ways and creating a lot of toxicity in your life. Okay? Don't give them too much benefits and too much privilege of putting you down. Okay? Okay. Now, Virgo. Looks like you're going to hear from this air sign from the past. Okay? And it seems like even though you've tried to run away, you've tried to hide, you've tried to escape, and you've tried to move on from this person, there is definitely an unfinished business that the two of you have to deal with. Now, this person will be asking you to work things out. You know, good for singles, but it's a big question mark for those who's already in a relationship or already married. Now, this air sign that will be um, getting back in touch with you, it seems like you need to... Get a clear view or get a clear, uh, you know, like a uh, horizon. Where is this going to go if you're going to take the, the steps forward again with this person? Because this person have turned their back on you in the past without, you know, without answering your questions, without explaining why they have to leave and stuff like that. And so you are there at that point that should I? Will, I, will it work this time? Should I invest my feelings again? Should I make it work this time? Because you have tried to give your your all and you have tried to contribute everything just to make the relationship work. Some Virgos have even sacrificed um, either their own children, their work, or their own family, or themselves. But this person is just very, you know, very selfish. But is it really worth this time? Now, 
you need to reassess the situation because I feel like this person will be like wooing you coming in too fast to, and will be rushing you to making a decision and would even invite you to come and join them in a travel or they're they're moving into a new place or new new um new location but um there is a past life connection with this person but this is not yet the right time for the two of you to be together because I don't really feel like um, it is going to work out this time. Both of you are still carrying your baggages from the past. He's still carrying several baggages from different relationships and you are still carrying baggages from this person and from your other relationships. The hurt, the pain, you just need to discard them both so that your boat won't sink in. Okay, there will be a big transition and you are the one who can only make a decision whether this person is worthy of your decision or not. Now, you will be a little bit reserved walled up and you'll be asking a few of your friends is it really worthy or not. And the bottom line is you will tell this person that I'm not yet ready. You have hurted me so much in the past and it's like you just left just like that and then you will just and, and then you will come back into my life like nothing happened so there will be a big question whether this person is still worthy of your decision worthy of this space worthy of the love the energy the time and everything that you will be investing again in a relationship there will be a pause so everything will still be hanging now when it comes to your workplace communications will be a little bit hanging in the air and you will always be you know, um, well, getting into some arguments and getting into some, you know, some, uh, like, a, like this person will be, will try to compete against your authority, will try to, you know, tell you what to do because you know how to do your job, but then this person will just be putting words into your mouth like you don't know if, you know, if they are just trying to grab your, your attention, they're trying to take over your position, or they're just trying to act like they know everything. So you just need to let this thing pass. You just need to let this, you know, um, get over with and don't get into any other fight. Or especially if it's not really worth it, you know. And some people will be backing you up and will be, you know, some people will also be appreciating you being so patient and not really, you know, stooping below this person's level, even though they are acting like all high and mighty and that they know everything. Uh, don't worry because, you know, your patience will be paying off, especially that you are the one who will be recommended and who will be, you know, like... um. Uh, what do you call this? Like you will be noticed by the management who is much more worthy of the new position that they're going to be opening by the end of the year. You will also be going in a training, conference, exercise, short course, or something like that. Okay, or seminar that uh, there will be five or out of five that you will be cho that, that you'll be one of the chosen few to attend this uh, exercise and uh, they st you still need to prove yourself until the month of August okay so May will be more of a um, you know like an icebreaker for you f when it comes to your career because this is the moment that you have been waiting for and you've been trying to be successful in this field and finally your moment is finally coming so don't mess it up just because that someone is pulling your leg now, when it comes to your love life, you are feeling a little bit defensive, walled up, and not really paranoid, but you just want to, you know, you just want to protect yourself against this person that right after rebuilding myself again, healing my heartaches and being happy again on my own, and finally that there is someone else who's been making me smile and happy, and finally, you know, this this air sign is here again to cut me off and to cut me through and to open up the wounds again. So you are the only one who can ask yourself, is this person really worth the second time or the second chance? 
Now, you will be so worried about the other person finding out your connection or your communication with this person from the past. Because there will be some active communications, calls, text messages, emails, whatever it is, you know, even uh, sending your friend request uh, through social media. You know, if you don't want to add up more complications into your life, don't do it. Okay? Don't um, add up too much drama into your life just because that you're not that you feel like you're not yet done done with this air sign okay now the fire sign i feel like they're well um i feel like things will start changing between you and this person and there are a lot of things that you still need to consider as well okay the fire sign is the one who wants to marry you but is it really for long term or is it or are they really genuinely in love with you which is yes this person wants to work things out with you and in fact that they really see themselves being with you so whew, that's gonna be like one tough decision you know that you're still in love with the past but there's someone in person that is even much more in love with you and open you know and the, already um offering you the promise of brighter future and brighter happiness well virgo it's already up to you when it comes to your sex life it seems like you need to be a little bit more you know ex um experimental explore your other fetishes and it seems like uh, some virgo guys will be a little bit conscious of getting someone pregnant or you know wearing a protection and because uh, your sexual libido will be increasing you know this month and you'll be very 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 active as in like you'll be feeling like you want to do it all the time okay now hmm now you know for those who's actually in a dual relationship or if you are caught up in you know two relationships uh the other the other relationship it seems like your sex life have already died down while the other it's like you're trying to find whatever that's missing from the other through that person but unfortunately i don't really feel like it's going to be that pleasing or pleasurable and the problem here is there is a chance that you might get caught or that you will catch someone okay being with another person so that's gonna be a problem now when it comes to your health uh, you need to check out your eyesight high blood pressure chest pain you're also going to be very conscious about your you know your appearance your hair your skin your facial thing and be very careful oh some virgos will be um experiencing some tias okay trans ischemic attacks and uh too much migraine uh what do you call this um cramps you know while you're walking or while you're driving and you will also be feeling overly tired like narcolepsy okay so just be very careful about that and there it's much better for you to go and check out with your doctor what will be the best solution now review and contemplation you've accomplished a great deal in your life and you have much to be proud of now it's time to decide what's next as you contemplate the past and the present you'll get a clear in your divine life purpose don't be distracted by conventional thinking and be the real you successful completion this is a time of incredible accomplishment you're justified in feeling joy a sense of completion a pride in the amazing job you've done you've been blessed with many spiritual insights soon you'll begin a new journey but for now take time to bask in the happiness of your dreams coming true 
is of abundance this cheer brings wonderful news a windfall of resources comes your way to help you with your plans these resources may involve money advice or assistance in getting things done it's a good time to start a new venture change careers or go into business for yourself there may be important contracts to sign Three of action, things are working out beautifully now that your ship has come in. It's time to decide what your next big project will be. You may choose to continue to build upon your successes or move on to something entirely different. Be willing to travel if necessary. It has something to do with your career. Okay, that there is the three of action. Either you stay, you go, or you create the changes that you really want to. Because Lady Luck will be sitting right beside you. Now, the ace of abundance, of course, that it's still the, you know, the financial windfall and financial stability that will be coming into your life. So good for you, Virgo. Anyway, if you want to talk to me live on the phone or live on the calls, just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net. Blessings to you.